Welcome back to another video guys. Thank you for always staying tuned in every single one of my videos. You guys already know how much I actually love and appreciate you guys. Thank you. I know I might look a little sleepy, but today I actually finished off a back workout. I did an insane weighted calisthenic back routine, the usual, but I noticed that there's some things that I didn't tell you guys that actually enhanced my training a lot. So today I'm actually gonna give you guys some technique tips in terms of enhancing your pull-up and actually getting stronger at your pull-up it's also going to benefit you in your weighted pull-ups so with that being said let's get on to the video this video is going to be super simple so let's start as i was saying today i did back workout or today was my back day i did weighted pull-ups i'm pulling up really serious and good numbers but i noticed there's something that is actually enhancing my pull-up a lot. So right here, I'm gonna give you the real serious tip that is gonna enhance your pull-up a lot. And that is these fingers right over here. Okay, it's literally this and this finger on both your hands. Let me explain. Everybody is doing pull-ups. Most people don't even know how to use their mind-to-muscle connection when doing pull-ups or how to actually use their back muscles when doing pull-ups. They don't know how to use their back muscle. They're arching way too much or they it just, they don't know how to use their back muscles a lot. The arch is not bad, but right here what I'm saying is when you're doing your pull-ups, focus, your complete focus should be squeezing the hell out of the damn pull-up bar with these fingers. Yes, you're gonna use this, this, your other fingers as well, but squeeze the shit out of the pull-up bar with these two fingers. Because when you squeeze the pull-up bar and you're imagining as if you're bending the bar, you will automatically activate your back muscles by a tremendous amount. Guys, keep in mind, I have a serious strong weighted pull-up. Maybe I've not been training for three years in a row. I've been training for two years straight and I had a lot of ups and downs, but I still have serious good numbers and I'm trying to be well-rounded. And you guys watching my videos, I, got, I want you guys to also be well-rounded, not just good on one thing. And guys, a few days ago, I uploaded a video and one of my subscribers was asking me to make an underrated, like underrated exercises, you know, that people should be doing. Well, when it comes to underrated technique for the pull-up, this two fingers right here and imagining to bend the bar will really, this is totally underrated. I don't know why most people don't talk about this, you know? Um, just in general, being strong is not only about strength and executing a move perfectly, but it has a lot to do with technique. And this is something I came across by a lot of trial and error. And it just, I didn't understand that up until now. Like today I noticed when I was doing my pull up, I was doing that. I was actually telling you guys, like using the advice that I'm giving you, I was using my these fingers a lot and it enhanced my pull up a lot and I was able to activate my back muscles so much more and I was just pulling the weight and I'm my strength right now is just going up like that in almost every single lift of mine. I will make other videos as to how to better enhance your other lifting exercises, like maybe weighted dips or whatever, but in this video I'm mainly focusing on the pull up because guys, underrated like not underrated the most important back the most important muscle group in your body is your entire back muscles having stronger back muscles is going to protect you from many injuries guys also in terms of getting a stronger back every single lift of yours is going to go up i'm telling you right now okay how do you get a stronger back? I have many videos here on this channel explaining, telling you guys, breaking things down in detail when it comes to weighted pull-ups especially because weighted pull-ups is my top picks. It's like an alpha move for having a stronger back and for just being strong just in general. You guys really need to start doing weighted calisthenics. You're gonna put on a lot of slabs of muscle on your body. I have great videos in this channel. I can confidently say if you watch it, you're gonna improve. I just know it for a fact. Other than that, if you need extra help, comment down in my videos here because it's gonna help me with the YouTube algorithm and you by liking my videos, commenting and actually watching my videos full, the full length of my videos, it's actually gonna help me. And guys, I can't make it alone. I can't blow this channel up alone. I need help from you all. The best I can do is support you and give you everything that you need, my honest team and everything, you know. Other than that, if you need more extra help, you can also follow me on my Instagram. The link is in the description down below. We can go on, a, just follow my Instagram, keep up with my content. I put up great stuff there. And if you need extra help, 
you can give me a call on Instagram, reach out to me, or even comment down below. I get to every single. If I get a thousand comments, I'm gonna give you a thousand replies, okay? To every single comment, because it matters to me. You guys matter. I'm not just trying to bullshit and give you guys some garbage. I'm trying to be unique with my channel, with my content, and with my audience. I wanna build this community because it matters. It means something to me. Anyways, enough of this talk. Let's get on to the video and let's enhance our pull-ups. Engage your back muscles. Don't use your arms a lot. Try to really focus on that squeeze of these two fingers right here. Bend the bar and imagine putting your, like bringing your body up and like really pulling your elbows down so that that motion you should be thinking of when doing the pull-ups, not just wrapping it up with your arms and guys, quality over quantity if you can do 20 pull-ups or even 10 perfect pull-ups and if you have to pause for a second and go back in and continue on with your set to get in more pull-ups it's okay quality matters even i even though i'm really good at weighted calisthenics but i'm i'm still trying to improve and get to the best potential that i can be for myself and also to set a great example to you guys so technically speaking i will not actually be the best because I'm constantly trying to up my numbers and get up this ladder, this mountain that is super big. But anyways guys, as I was saying, doing your pull-ups is super critical, super important. When you're doing your pull-ups, no matter what, having a really heavy session on the week, focusing on really good uh, weights on the weighted pull-ups. For example, maybe one session you're going heavy and the next session you're going light, maybe even body weight for endurance. I myself, I do that. On my days that I'm not doing weighted pull-ups, I'm focusing on technique. Technique is super critical. Guys, no matter how strong I get, I will always focus on body weight moves. And my top endurance based body weight move would obviously be the different variations on pull-ups, focusing on really form good form and technique and really using these fingers right here and imagining bending the bar guys i know i'm focusing mainly on this technique talk on how to enhance your pull up because everybody everyone in the gym bro community or whatever when they're doing their back day they usually start off with some dumbbell rows or doing some lat pull downs i don't want you guys to be that basic i'll be completely honest with you all back day should start with your damn pull ups you want to get strong yeah go and do pull-ups start your freaking back day with pull-ups you get better weighted pull-ups you get better different variations of weighted pull-ups maybe weighted chin-ups keep rotating the variation so that you can actually be good at all the other variations and at the same time not have overuse of injuries because not have uh injuries as in when i say overuse what i'm saying is you'll notice sometimes when i read people's programs they give me this exercise selection that they're doing and they're being so limited they're doing the same shit every single week every single session no wonder they're getting snapped up they're getting elbow pain i always talk about changing of variations because guys getting stronger building that muscle that base having strength through strength and power is ultimately the combination of being good and teaching your body every single variation i swear me personally you can see in my training and lifting videos i don't just do the same shit over and over I don't. I really want to be good at every single exercise because I know that's going to actually make me strong and I get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. Even on my back days, even though I'm doing pull-ups, weighted pull-ups on my back days, sometimes, some sessions I go close, some sessions I go wide, some sessions I go shoulder width. It's, you know, that's how you got to do it, guys. This, this lifting game is something that you got to think of how you can stay long term and keep on challenging yourself and also have fun and not get bored. Because when you're bored, there's no fun. There's, it's just like you're just doing it like just to do it, you know. But when you're having fun, learning new things, it's always fun. Learning new things in your life is a good way to actually improve yourself. I love learning new stuff and you actually learn more about yourself, you know? You don't know what you're good at, you don't know what you love doing, but like you will not know, or in other words, you will not know what you actually enjoy doing if you don't actually go and do it. You don't know what your passion and your mission and purpose is in your life. The only way you can find out about that is by actually learning and tasting different things. This is something Gary V talks about. I know right now, I'm drifting away from giving you guys the pull-up and how to get better at pull-ups, kind of enhancing your pull-up to more motivation and life stuff. Guys, keep in mind, I myself, 
I'm not only trying to be good at the lifting world, I'm also be try also trying to be good at self-improvement, personal improvement and things like that because I actually like that, you know? I want to always keep improving my knowledge, my experience and guys, along with me, I want to take all of you, okay? I don't want to just be successful alone and in other words, I can't be successful alone. What is the use of me being that great and keeping all the information, the secrets, the knowledge to myself, right? At least that's how I look at it. When I know the secrets and the formula of something great, I want to share it with people. I really do because I care about someone's well-being, someone being good and when I see that I actually help somebody and my information helped someone, it gives me power. It gives me power, it gives me confidence. That is my way of building more power within myself and more confidence within myself. I know in the future my channel is going to be big and people are going to love my stuff, I hope. But I can't do that alone. It's always the support from each other that we give that builds courage within ourselves and that is how we actually build success in our lives. And there's no sense in tearing other people down. Bring other people up with you. If you're here, try to bring others with you here. If someone is talking smack about you, remember they're already below you. If they try to look down on you, they're already below you. I don't want any of you guys to just be good at weightlifting and strong and everything. I want you guys to actually learn about self-improvement. Maybe I'm going to motivate you guys and lead the great example of how you can improve in life. Right? Guys, this video was super simple, super small. I really hope you found value. As always, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram. I'm always there. Just follow me on my Instagram. Keep up with my videos here on YouTube and I will always put out great stuff, not only for yourself, but I actually enjoy putting out great stuff like help. It's like a pride moment when you put out something good, someone watches it and they improve. Great. Guys, I really hope you start using this tip on how you can actually enhance your pull-ups and how you can get better at it. Focus on good form, focus on good technique, do whatever it is that you're doing in your life for yourself. If you don't know what exactly your mission and purpose is in your life, try to find and taste and learn different things. That is how you'll actually know what you want to do with your life. With that being said, I will see you guys all in my next video. Train hard, train smart. Remember you are unique in your own way. Focus on your mission and purpose and don't be scared to try and learn new things because that is how you're gonna improve. Peace.